Hello, this is Dr. Victoria Skirmo speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Speaking to you on the evening of September 26th. Tomorrow we have um, we have um, Christine Blasey for Dr. Blasey um, speaking to the Senate Judiciary Committee about uh, what happened with uh, Judge Kavanaugh back in uh, the early 80s. Um, her um, Uh, she said that he attempted to uh, rape her, attempted rape, when she was 15 and he was 17. So, um, as far as I know, the only people who are going to be being questioned are Judge Kavanaugh and Dr. Dr. Blasey. So, I just want to pull some cards and see how, um, what's the energy of this for tomorrow. And... Um, before it actually happens, just to kind of get a get an idea, I'm going to do a Celtic cross again. Um, this is the um, immediate the immediate um, environment, the present situation. We have the Seven of Pentacles. This is about something that's not quite done yet. Um, there's a lot of pentacles here. There is a lot of money connected to having um, Judge Kavanaugh be um, put on the su Supreme Court. So um, there's a sort of a lot of money hanging in the balance. Um, but this is something that's not done, that's not finished, that um, still needs to uh, be worked and uh, before it can... Uh, bear fruit. So there's a sense of um, things just not being uh, ready. Uh, the crossing card is the Queen of Cups. She's been coming up in a lot of readings. I believe this is um, Dr. Dr. Blasey Ford. She is a psychologist. Um, and this is also the energy of, and I believe she symbolizes the women of America, not just herself, but all women in America. Um, the, America is a cancer country, you know. It is born on the 4th of July, so uh, it has very much uh, that emotional, sensitive nature. At the root of this <laughs> is the Empress. Okay, woman power, baby, woman power. Wow. Standing strong. In the past, we have the strength card. Um, the strength card is probably uh, talking about the strength that has taken Dr. Blasey Ford um, and the fortitude it's taken for her to actually stand up and, and have her voice be heard because she's going into the lion's den and she knows it but she I think she feels that it's necessary for her to do what's in the sky now this is generally um, this is generally seen as um, like what spirit is saying but as soon as I pulled it I, I just pictured like her sitting you know, in, in front of the microphone and all these senators like up above her, sort of looking down on her. And this is the five of, of the seven of swords. And uh, this is unfair practices. Um, but this is also uh, her, um, if I have her birthday right, which um, I've been told is November 28th, uh, 1960. Six. This is actually her path of life card. This is her the the sixty one seven vibration. Um, I feel as though um, what's interesting about this card is that this person is taking five swords away and leaving just two. And so there's this he said she said kind of thing. Um, 
and and some unfair there's unfair practices here okay the immediate future ah oh, the hope card hope and this looks very good um well in my estimation um for the women <laughs> but we'll see um of course i have my bias right how other people see the situation. This is somebody who's worked long and hard on a project and now has to turn their back on it. I think that the majority of people see him leaving and giving up. The domestic situation is um, people are still battle weary but still willing to fight. That could be both of them, right? Um, I'm sure Christine is battle-weary, and I'm sure Brett Kavanaugh is battle-weary, and certainly America's battle-weary. Hopes and fears. <sighs> that the old way will continue. The old patriarchal will continue. That's the hope of some. Kavanaugh. And the fear of us <laughs> women. And enlightened souls. The outcome. Oh, this is interesting. The outcome is the victory card. But who's going to be victorious, right? Um, some... Let's see. Let's see who's going to be victorious. <laughs> the fact that the Empress is at the, at the root of this reading, I would say that the women are going to be victorious, but let's see. Oh, boy transformation and so the death card and so I would say that this is going to create a change this really is a point of dying to the old and being reborn to the new so let's let's pull this up what's underneath the seven of wands um Ultimately, I feel like this is going to be a win for the women. Um, will he get in? I don't know. I don't want to commit, but I'm feeling, and this is really, and I'm going to be honest, because it's really hard for me to separate myself and my own feelings about these things um, from the cards, but I do feel as though whether he gets in or not, everything has changed. Everything is different. And I have a feeling that he's not going to get in. And I'm not sure if that's my hope. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. But I would definitely say that even if he gets in, this... This is not the end of the story. Women are not going to put down their uh, their warrior corsets. <laughs> I could just see Zena, you know, a warrior corset. Um, we're not going to put it down. We're not. We're not going to. Uh, this isn't going to just go and say, "Whoa, well, like what happened to poor Anita Hill?" You know, it was like, "This is awful. This is awful." There was changes. They were slow. Change happens a lot faster these days, so I have hope. I have hope. And you have hope, too. I think it looks good for the women. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this is helpful for you. Um, I'm probably going to upload this in the morning because I need to go, go to bed. See? All right, I'll see you again tomorrow. Have a great day. If you enjoy this, comment and uh, like and uh, subscribe. Thanks. Bye.